Well, the right number for a Morgan Riley suspension is a hard one to come to because of the lack of comparables when you look at cross-checking in that instance. Now, I was very uh, vocal in saying that I didn't think a suspension was warranted, that just a fine for Morgan Riley's uh, action on Ridley Gregg on Saturday night. And look, I mean, that was my initial point of view. But now that I've had more time, and I'm not backtracking here, but I'm just obviously looking at the action of the NHL, the in-person hearing, which I think is a little excessive, to be honest with you. But I think they're covering their bases. They're opening the, the door to full multiple suspension of maybe six or more games with the in-person hearing. But also, it could be just in the you know one to five games. It doesn't have to be six and over. But when you look at the at comparing the action of Morgan Riley to other suspensions, right? Like David Perron, um, there was a retaliation factor in David Perron. There was a retaliation factor in Morgan Riley. So the league is going to consider that. Now, I still think that David Perron went straight to the head of Artem Zub, where Morgan Riley went to go upper arm shoulder area and the stick road up on Ridley Gregg. Um, the force of action, right? David Perron was much more forceful, in my opinion, than what Morgan Riley did. But then you also look at last season in Blake Lazard, one game suspension on Josh Morrissey. That was more in the sense of the hockey term. Like it was wild action. And that is probably why they figured that was more a hockey situation, a hockey play as they like to use, and was just a one game suspension. So I think that what is going to happen here with Morgan Rally is going to be somewhere in the middle. That it wasn't a hockey play. It was a retaliation play. Um, so was Blake Lazat and so is David Perron. But the situation and what those two cross-checks were uh, given was very different. Um, when I look at all the suspension, and obviously you have to listen to you know, what the league and what league personnel is probably looking at in this situation, I think it's going to be a three-game suspension. Yeah, okay. I would have probably just fined Morgan Riley, and I understand that that's an unpopular opinion. But now going between Blake Lazat, one game suspension and David Perron, six game suspension. I'm looking at three games. And does it matter? I don't think it matters much. The only thing that matters is what the Toronto Maple Leafs, Sheldon Keefe, Brett Reliving, Brendan Shanahan, and the players in that locker room think of what Morgan Riley did. It's their family. It doesn't matter what their neighbors do. It doesn't matter what the people in the town over do. It's what happens in their household. And listening to everything that's coming out of Toronto, Sheldon keeps saying that was an appropriate reaction. The players have been in the locker room, probably looking at Morgan Riley saying, you know what, we'll take whatever comes your way. We appreciate what you were able to do and how you stood up for what we are here as our family and the Maple Leafs. I know it's old school and it's the code, but putting everything together, I think the Leafs are going to be fine with whatever happened. But I do think Morgan Riley will end up getting a three-game suspension, despite the fact that I said, I thought it only deserved to be a fine.